I'm Natalie Cooper and I'm an assistant professor in the School of Natural Sciences at Trinity College in Dublin. Um, so depending on the maths you use, we estimate there are somewhere between sort of three and a hundred million different species um, on Earth today. And so as an evolutionary biologist, I'm really interested in how and why these species evolved. I'm also interested in how they evolved such great diversity in their morphology, so in terms of how um, their size and their shape, and also in things like their colour and also behaviour. Now, unfortunately, because I'm an evolutionary biologist, I'm working on timescales of, of millions and millions of years, so I can't just go and run an experiment and come back a million years later to see what the result is. So instead, what I need to use are these things called phylogenetic trees or family trees. And so these show how species are related and also how long ago they evolved. And I can use this information along with information from fossils, museum specimens and other data from various books, along with my computer models, uh, to model evolution using the computer and to get answers to some really interesting questions. And to me, this is really exciting because it means I'm not restricted to a certain set of questions or a certain group of animals or plants. As long as I have one of these phylogenetic trees in my computer and some relevant data, I can ask any question I like. So for example, within my um, group at the moment, I have somebody working on these really strange creatures called Temrex, which live in Madagascar. I have another student working on primate evolution. And within my undergraduate student projects, I have somebody working on toxicity and frogs, someone working on hibernation, and another student working on um, the mechanics of jaws uh, in various species of vertebrate. Um, I'm also really interested in the evolution of parasites. So you may ask, how is this useful in the real world? Well, firstly, my parasite work is really interesting and useful because uh, we can look at how parasites are shared among species of primates, and we can use that to predict which species of parasite may come into the human population, causing huge outbreaks of disease in the future. Another thing would be extinction. So if we can understand these big extinction events, so for example, the event um, that wiped out all the dinosaurs, if we can understand what happened then and how different species coped with these things, then perhaps we can understand the extinction which is going on today and perhaps prevent further loss of species.